Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are playing with the new Chanel fall makeup release again. This is Les Quatre Ombres number 58, Intensité or Intensity, whichever you prefer. And I'm going to go ahead and create two separate looks today using this palette because I've been playing around with it and also playing with different eyeliners that I think would go well together. So that's today's video. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one Zoom chat with me. So if you need advice purchasing some new makeup, but you don't want that sales pressure that you find in a store, that is a good reason to book a session with me. So if you want to make an appointment, go ahead and click the link in the description box down below. Okay, so eyelids are primed and prepped. I did a full face before. I know that's so shocking. I never do this, but I really wanted to focus today's energy on the eyeshadow. So just a quick rundown of what I'm wearing on my face. I'm wearing the Chantecaille Anti-Aging Face Gel, this or face tint. This is so good. I've been using it a lot recently because it's like this tinted gel that has a lot of skincare benefits in it. So I just did like a really quick wash all over the face. Then I went into the Chanel uh, Complexion Touch in 30 for concealing. That's my concealer and a little bit in the center of the face to brighten. And then the Le Beige Water Fresh Blush in Light Peach. I just took this, I broke it down applied a little bit light peach is just like a nice light flush then i went into the 390 the cream bronzer from chanel the one that came out i think a couple of years ago bronzed it up and then i just took a light dusting of the new laura mercier talc free face powder so let's actually get into the eyeshadow now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one look that's going to be darker and more dramatic and one that's going to be just a little bit lighter, more everyday, and I'm going to show you some eyeliners that I've been using. All of the brushes that I'm using will be listed down below. I use a lot of great brushes. I've vetted a lot of my collections, so if you're curious about them, they are in the description box, but I will read them out to you as I'm using them. So this is the Refer 01. And I always tap off my excess like this because it's always much easier to add makeup than it is to remove. So first we're going into this light color here. And this is just sort of being swept everywhere on the lid and we could bring it up into the crease as well. And this side here is going to be more of like everyday, nine to five office type of look. And then we're going on the more dramatic on the other side. So I don't know what's up, why, like I'm filming this August 5th, uh, Friday morning. So I don't know why this isn't on the Chanel site for the US right away. In Canada, I purchased it in person, the entire new Chanel fall collection in person at Holt Run Through with Julia. And so I, don't know like since when does canada get the release first i don't understand i really don't know i know that there's been a lot of back and forth fall collection the tweeds so here in canada we are supposed to get the tweeds september or october we'll see september it's like in a month so i don't know if the delay with the this fall collection for the us like, I don't know if you're going to get the tweeds before us, is what I'm trying to say. I have no idea, but I keep refreshing the Chanel US homepage, expecting it to land there any second. So I apologize to my American viewers because I know that you are, you are uh, numerous, but I don't know exactly what's happened. So as you can see, I've just sort of tapped very lightly and just blended. It's very easy, very sweet. It's like purple, but not too intense. And this is why I used this brush here because it just, it acts as a two-in-one. Like you can sweep the shadow on, but you can also very lightly blend. And then I'm just taking a very light amount, like whatever is left on the brush. Just getting sweeped here. 
or swept. I think that's the proper <laughs> verb to use. And now I'm going into arguably my favorite shade of the quad here. This is like the silver, taupey, slight hit of purple, but you know, it's very classic. It's not tacky. It's very Chanel. This whole collection, very Chanel. And I'm going into a BK Beauty brush. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy 505. So this one here is made to pick up shimmer, uh, sparkly shadows, and it's supposed to, like, it's, it actually helps give off the intensity that you want. So going into this one here, just pack it on like that. And then we're going to sweep it onto the lid. And then you can take that same brush that we used before and just to, you know, blend things out very lightly and subtly. Now we are going into eyeliner. Let me go ahead and do some swatches of the shadow here and I'll show you the liners that I have in mind. So this here is a rough swatch here of the palette that I have. Now the liner that I've been using the most is in the waterproof category. That's my favorite liner collection from the brand. And this is number 36 Prune Intense or Prune Intensity or Intense. This is like, it's plummy, but it's not flashy. It kind of hits a little bit burgundy. And you may think, oh, that looks red. It doesn't actually. It kind of just looks like a really deep, intense plum, as the name would state. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a pretty generous line on the waterline, on a thin line on top, and also on the bottom. And then I have this little brush here. This is the Refer Beauty 29. And the beauty of this brush here is that the bristles are really thick, like they're really dense and they're stiff, but without being floppy. Sometimes, uh, because I'm going to use this to draw a very faint, thin cat eye, and I often find that these shape of pencil brushes, they often tend to be too floppy and you kind of lose the precision. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the thin line and then I'll come back with this when I'm going to use it. Now using the brush that I mentioned, the 29, if your liner isn't perfect, if it's uh, a little bit wavy, you can go ahead and just correct it. You can blend it out, you can fill it in. It's really precise and like I said, the bristles are not floppy. So they're going to be really dense and just to help you with your correction. And now what I did also is I traced a little bit under the bottom lashes. So you can go ahead and smudge that out too if you need to. And also what I like to do is I take my liner and I take my brush and I just collect color like this. Like I just sweep it on and then I just do a soft little flick. Just something really subtle. I'm not a huge fan of giant wing liners. Like I have hooded eyes and my eyes are slightly different, one eye to the next. So wing liner tends to be quite challenging for me. So I like something very soft and subtle and it kind of just looks like it's part of my top lashes that are just being extended. Something just like this, like very small. It kind of gives me like a little bit of a Sophia Loren cat eye look. I think it's really pretty and it just elevates your everyday look a little bit. Now let's go ahead and do the, the Viri, the very dramatic side and I'll do the mascara at the end just to like give you the finished result. So for this one, we're going into this beautiful, darker, very matte shade here. And this one we're going to be very generous with. Now taking my very handy Chanel dual-ended brush, this is the dual-ended uh, 200 brush. I'm going into this shade here with this side. And this is just going on the lid here. And we can go ahead and bring it up a little bit higher into the crease. 
This side is going to be more smoky. Now with my dual ended brush from Chanel 201, this is more contouring, more definition. So I'm going back into this shade here with this like slightly more fluffy tapered side. This other side is like a pencil brush, but using this one here, going into this matte shade, I'm going to just continue putting it in the crease and then I'll blend it out. And I'm also just going to take some of this onto the bottom lashes here. Not all the way in, I would say like the first third of the eye here. Then using my brush from before, the dual ended brush, I'm using the big fluffy side here and I'm just going to blend out this dark color in the crease. And this is where you may take more time. So you can go ahead and just add a bit more, blend a bit more, but I would recommend using one brush to add the color and a separate brush to blend because this way you just control how dark it gets. So taking the fluffy end of my brush here, I'm just dipping in really lightly into this light color just to help blend this darker color out. I'm going to do the same thing with this more pointed brush here. I'm just going to press lightly into this and just sweep it under the lashes here. Now I'm going into a separate liner. This is number 48, Or Antique. It is this liner here. It kind of hits a little bit more yellow. It's an antique yellow gold. I'm going to just place some in the waterline here and then I will put the gold shadow over top just to sort of emphasize. So I'm going more in the waterline, like in the inner corner here, just like this. And then taking the pencil brush from my double-ended brush, I'm just dipping into the gold shadow here. And I'm tapping it over top of the gold liner. Then using number 88, it's just like a pitch black liner. I'm going to do a thin line on the top and also water line on the top of this dramatic eye here. I also took just like a whisper of that black liner and just on the bottom lashes here, just like this. Now let's go into the mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and use the new mascara. This is Le Noir Allure Mascara. It's called Allure because it pops open like this, like the lipsticks. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and use the base. So this is a mascara base from Chanel. You can use it as an overnight treatment. You can put this on before going to bed or you can layer it before you apply your mascara. It's very nourishing, fortifying. It's like skincare basically for your lashes. And I find that this new mascara is really good if you want curl. Like if you have very flat, straight lashes and you need curl, this would be good for you. And it also lengthens a lot, but I, I find that it misses volume. So that's why I go into this one here, just to add a bit of density. And the mascara just goes on top directly. One thing I do really like about this mascara is that it is, the wand itself is perfect for bottom lash because it's really narrow. So if you just wanna add like a little bit of makeup here, it's a really perfect size. For the lips, I'm going into my brand new Chanel Rouge Allure from the Fall Collection, 198 Nuance. I love all the nudes for the collection, like the nude lips, the nude nail polish. I really feel like they're going back to classic Chanel aesthetics. Also very 90s aesthetics. All right, so this is the finished look. We have look number one here that's more of like your office every day. I like this little wing here. I think it's very subtle. It kind of adds a little bit of something something to the look. And then this side here, we have our more dramatic, a little bit smoky. You could definitely smudge the liner even more, go a bit heavier handed with this liner to make it a bit more smoky. It's dramatic, but I just wanted to show you how versatile this palette could be. There's just like a lot to play with. This is just two looks here that 
I've kind of been playing back and forth with. They're both really pretty. It just depends on your mood and what you feel like. I, I don't know. I, I've been wearing this one a lot because it's very easy, just like not that much blending. This one takes a little bit more work, but let's say you have an evening out, a soiree. I think it's a fun look. And this is another tutorial with the Chanel fall collection. Leave a comment down below. I hope that by the time I publish this, it's available in the US. I keep getting lots of comments and DMs asking me when it's coming to the US. I don't know. I, I don't have that kind of information. I really hope it's very soon. Um, because if you Google uh, Chanel fall makeup 2020, there is a landing page for the US site and it says that it, that it was supposed to come out in late July. Hmm, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And just double check that you're still subscribed because sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe a whole bunch of you. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss out on any new Chanel related makeup content, especially tutorials, which I know helps you out a lot at home. So on that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.